if you do an analysis of variance and you're trying to test, you've got a gr data that are grouped in some way. For example, we had a set of expression data on genes last time. And we're trying to see if the groups differ more than by expected by chance. And uh, we can express the model as an outcome, the thing that we're trying to analyse, is equal to a, a group mean um, and then an error term. And we're trying to find out if these group means differ significantly from each other. And another way that can be expressed is having an overall mean that's sometimes called the intercept. And then this sort of effect of the different means is a group mean minus the overall mean. So sometimes the models get parameterized by that. And we'd call that a simple analysis of variance because we're only looking at one grouping of the data. Sometimes that could be called a one-way analysis of variance as well. So that's just a simple one. And that was the example we looked at where there were an expression levels were measured on six different genes. We wanted to find out if they were different. And without going through all the details, you come up with a table in the statistical output and the output you get will differ between all the packages but it will they will all give you a p-value to test whether the thing the grouping you're interested in which in this case was gene to tell you if it's significantly different and of course we had a very small p-value here so that says the genes are highly significantly different in terms of the expression levels they're producing i talked a bit about the distribution you'd compare the null hypothesis to to get the p-value but I'll not go over that again just now. <laughs>